Good morning. Well, the last push on this wall, <laughs> on this wall today, we've got kind of this section to rebuild a little bit, fill in the pockets, point, a little bit over there. See, I told you it wasn't as bad as it looked. So I know a lot of you are thinking this lintel's bowed, but it's actually not. Some of it's a camera and there's a very, very slight bow out this way. So it's not up or down. It's kind of towards me. But the steel in this place is all like unbelievably strong. And some people have said that it's a pre-nuclear thing. The steel was stronger, but you know, especially when we were digging out them rooms, there were steel beams that have been laid under wet rubble for 40 years and they were absolutely solid so I've got a lot of faith that even though that's got a slight you know bow in it it's going to be so much stronger than anything we can get now anyway it's raining Too annoyed about the rain because it is actually really good for this sort of job it keeps them all moist moistens the wall and makes everything set slower which with lime is a good thing the slower it sets the stronger it is so I can't complain but I do wish I had a roof on days like this
Okie dokie. Well, I know I said I was glad for the rain, but it is hindering it just a little bit, making the mix just a bit too wet to work with. Yeah, I know, I need a, desperately need a haircut. Yeah, and that's gonna be a theme going forwards into winter, which I very easily forget about, is that weather really does hold things up along the way. That's why it's so important to try and get some sort of roof on here. Okay, I'm gonna wait it out just a little bit. I will obviously at some point give you a full tour of the yurt as well. Just got a few things to like finish off, getting the bath plumbed in and stuff. And then, you know, I'll show you all around. So glad I've got it though. Absolute game changer.
I thought I was done, but just a couple more had to come out there. It was right at the very top, and they were just, the mortar was so soft there. So a little bit there, I mean, like, barely anything there. Oh, God, that looks good, if I do say so myself. All pointed up, and it's really, actually, some of the joints were so thickly filled. Kind of went back almost five centimetres to get like the really, really hard mortar, but I think it'll be worth it because that wall now is as good as new, if not a little bit better. <laughs> so a couple of stones in there, that'll just take an hour or so. And then I can start prepping for the C section to go in. Well, and then I've got to take this section down and basically repeat the whole process, which I've just done. Yeah, you know, doing jobs like that really do give me quite a sense of pride because it looks so bad before. And I know a lot of you were doubting it, but seeing it go from so bad to repaired. Chuffed with that. Anyway, see you tomorrow. <laughs>